Our pinpoint weather team coverage continues now as Matthew is cutting short travel plans to the southeast from TF Green Airport. That's where we find Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pliner. He's live from the airport with more. Danielle, good afternoon. Well, we were here at exactly this time yesterday, and yesterday was smooth, easy flying, getting out of here, headed down south. Today, it is a different story. They're in the air, but the window on flights to Florida is rapidly closing. Powerful Matthew keeping air and sea travelers on land. TF Green's board doesn't yet show the full afternoon lineup, but starting with that 125 to Orlando, East Coast Florida departures are off. The passengers of JetBlue's 1130 to Orlando are the last to get out. I think it's a short call there. I just made it. <laughs> Julio Carrillo chose right. He's headed down to Orlando to study. I didn't finalize it to the last minute, but uh, I've been planning it for some time now. Carrillo's prepped for Florida storms before, stocking up on water and supplies. He says it is always a mad dash. The roads can get clustered, gas stations, the lines get long. So it's one of those things that you just want to prepare the best you can, you know, have maybe standby generator, have a backup generator or something like that. Floridians are good about that stuff like we are with well, we snow. We better. <laughs> And I was watching JetBlue 475 status because you never know. I watched it from uh, doors closed to taxing to departed. They are in the air and on their way headed down to Florida. Now, there is a 1 o'clock flight to Tampa. That is the exception. It is still on. But Tampa, of course, is a West Coast Florida destination. Found live at TF Green Airport with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, I'm Jared Pleiter, Eyewitness News.